It is a pleasure to see you intact, Master. to see you intact, Master. How may I be of assistance? Proud answer. I am an HK series protocol droid, Master, skilled in transorganic relations and communications. This mod has been responsible for the facilitation of communications and termination of hostilities across the galaxy. I am fluent in over 6,000 forms of communication and I'm also capable of nuances of expression ranging from irony to veiled threats. Clarification. Oh, yes, Master. Sometimes the facilitation of communications and termination of hostilities requires the use of every weapon in one's verbal arsenal. The unspoken threat of violence to a listener's loved ones, or if possible, their entire planet, can effectively break the deadlock in the most stubborn of negotiations. Irritated explanation. That question has been looping through my query module with alarming frequency, Master, and no satisfactory answer has been forthcoming. As a result, I have chosen instead to turn my efforts to answering the question as to how I may depart this drifting disaster area as quickly as possible. Answer. It is only a matter of time before a ship or freighter docks with the Paragus facility. When that occurs, we shall depart this place forever. Condescending retraction. I believe you will do your best, Master. This facility would have to be nailed down with a droid-level precision to prevent your escape. Answer. That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. At the end, he was quite incoherent from the pain, and attempts to facilitate communications with him proved useless. I heard his dying screams as the droids he tended turned on him, mining him like a piece of asteroid rock. Recitation. Oh yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids, burning through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Please, someone there! Oh, oh no, they're, they're through! Oh, my leg! They're burning through my leg! I... Oh, stop! Addendum. His remaining attempts at communication are variations in Decibel Master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. Recitation. Oh yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Objection. Master. To commit such an act would be in violation of the ethics programming most droids are believed to possess. I am afraid there is nothing that can be done. Proud answer. Master, I believe my vocabulator is working adequately enough to accommodate your request. A recitation. Maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. There. Was that sufficient, Master? Confused query. I am sorry, Master. Were you speaking to yourself? Access 
missing memory. Ah, yes. I believe you've asked this question before, Master. Let me see if I can recite the answer I provided the first time. Oh, yes. It was, where did you leave the droid, Master? If you are looking for garbage, it would be best to ask a custodial unit, not a translation droid. Answer. Ah. Then that would explain why such a T3 unit isn't here, Master. I believe my photoreceptors are functioning adequately enough to verify that. <laughs> Finish the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. Finish my examination of the droids from the Ebonhawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so... There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. Been speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi in med bay? I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. Maybe the Jedi knows what happened to Revan after the end of the Jedi Civil War. Been too busy to enter a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents since that Jedi arrived. The miners are starting to get restless, especially Korda. Korda said the exchange is offering a huge bounty on Jedi Knights and that we can make a fortune if we sell the Jedi to Nar Shaddaa. Security shot down that idea pretty quick. But I don't think Korda and his men are gonna give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid, and he seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Korda wouldn't... With the protocol droid's help, I made some upgrades to the sonic imprint sensor, using some of the droid's vocabulator subroutines. In addition to its ability to store and record voices, it now has the droid's full array of alien languages, including basic. Should prove useful as a portable translator. I tried to make sure the protocol unit got some credit for helping fashion it, but the droid refused, saying the work was reward enough. I was thinking of installing the prototype in one of the mining droids as a test and see what happens. When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I installed a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter, but I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. 
The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids and they weren't too happy with my answers. I understand it though. These aren't combat models. They shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance and then did something to them? I think security's right. Someone's trying to sabotage this facility and they're using the droids to do it. But why? Maintenance control, voice print ID, R1B5. Find anything when you were down there? <laughs> Found anything? Yeah? Did you blow it up? Yeah, we'll watch your back. Droids can't be trusted. It's about time. I lost your signal after you left the mining tunnels. Now you're coming in clear. Except I'm picking you up on the exterior of the facility. On the asteroid surface. That can't be right. Huh? What are you doing out there? You're crazy. Even for a Jedi. Look, you need to get out of there, quick. What little is left of the facility's venting systems have gone active, most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnels. They're venting Paragus fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. That's just it. They're not supposed to be active when the airlock's opened, and not without the safety measures kicking in. The vents look like they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes, it's almost as if... Now uh, what now? I don't believe this. There's a ship coming in, sending a docking code. I have a bad feeling about this.
Thank <laughs> you. 